In the last tutorial, I already talked about data types. In this video, I show you more advanced data types and how to convert between data types. The first data type I want to show is an array. With this, you can have a collection of values, like with a standard logic vector that consists of multiple standard logic values. For example, we have a light strip and I want to save different brightness values. So I create the data type pixels type and by writing 0 to 9, I create 10 brightness values. Each brightness value is from 0 to 255. So I write 7 down to 0 to save the number with 8 bits. Now I can create a signal with this data type that has all 10 brightness values. To then set one brightness, I can just write pixel 0 for the first brightness value and another 0 for the first bit of the number. Now, for example, I can set this bit to the button value. The next type I want to show you is an ordered set of unique values you can use to, for example, name different states in your program. I name mine, for example, idle, operation 1, operation 2, finish and stop. I create a signal of that type and now I can use my defined values. To demonstrate this, I also show you a new command in DHDP. When the button is pressed, I want to go into the finished state or otherwise I'll stay in idle. To do that, you write in VHDP and VHDL state equals finished when button is 1, else idle. The last type I want to show you is a record. This is a set of values combined in one data type. So for example, you have an RGB value with a number of the brightness of red, green and blue. This can be realized like this. When I create one of these RGB values and set the R, G and B value to 0 by writing other equals 0, I can now set the individual values of R, G and B by writing pixel, dot and then the value. Now I want to show you how to convert between data types. I used 8 bits for the brightness on the top and the number for the RGB values. So to set the second brightness on the top to the red value of my RGB value, I can use the competition of the VHD plus IDE that already shows me the different conversions. I just have to insert the number to convert and specify the number of bits. The last thing I want to show you before we start programming our code is that you can use constants to make your code easier to change and understand. But you don't have to learn something new because the constants are declared like signals. You can use them like that. In the next tutorial, I will then show you how to write your first code.